Jordan, what the heck happened to LSU? That's a, oh. that, that sucked. You know what? There, I'm not there, saying you suck. I'm saying that sucks <laughs> as a fan. That sucks. Thank you. There's no worse feeling, and maybe this is a good little question to toss out to the room. Is there a worse feeling than starting a game from kickoff and it just feeling weird? Like it feeling like you can never, from the second we kicked off with A&M, it was just a, like a dark cloud was over it. And you felt and like you were playing catch up the whole time. Whole time. Even like after a good drive, we come back, we fumble, scoop and score. It just uh, I don't know, the stadium we couldn't like it it was A and M showed up to play. It's tough to it's tough to beat a team with nothing to lose. Unless and we had A&M. everything to lose. And that, that makes it they worse, right? Lose, though. They don't even had a lot to lose. Yeah. It lot, makes it worse too. And like you're, you're talking about that feeling, you know, of just like you just can't get it right from the yeah. beginning, but then you're playing AM. That makes it even worse. I know. That's a I feel bad that, for a team you. that like you you know, it it was tough. I, and then fourth quarter they just stepped on it. Yeah. I, I I'm not an LSU fan by any means, but I felt bad for you. Because you're my friend. And I feel bad when my friends have to go through pain. Mm-hmm. Don't love LSU, but you it's, guys were so close to having a shot to control. And having a shot, we could, we could, we were close enough to where it's like, hey, if we win, we can play as long as they'll let us play. Yeah, you go win this championship game. Now you're on the tur- you can win the whole thing. And I and I don't think that it was like a look ahead to Georgia. I really don't. I, I mean, are you kidding? I don't, don't think that's. I, I think that's I, all it was. They're I so think, much better than A and M. I know, but like A and M played a really good football game that night. Like. Defense made plays. We couldn't get the ground game going. Uh, Jaden Daniels kind of got, you know, knocked up early. Uh, he he like got pregnant his, during the game. He, who <laughs> knocked him up? Yeah, like, wow. which one? Which yeah, what That's, happened? God, so witty. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful in here. <laughs> you oh, said knocked oh, up. Holy, holy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Those you guys get knocked up out there. Wow, what I've never you? seen that. I think it was an ankle. I, I think he hurt his ankle early. Um, I, I, it just... Uh, you know what, Bobby? We lost. <laughs> it sucks. It sucks. We lost the game. I was telling the guys, and the playoff hasn't been around for a long time, but it's the first time I can remember a team playing for the SC Championship that it's over if they win. They're out. I mean, it, yeah, it still we, doesn't matter. They win, no. but they don't move on. Mm-hmm. No. I've never seen that before. It's, um, yeah, it's, um, man, I really wish that, God. But like, like I said, this is kickoff. I, I sent a message to my brother. I was like, bro, this doesn't, something feels weird. Like, I just don't think we're going to be able to to win this game. So, LSU and Georgia playing. Do you what, what is your excitement level for the game? It's, it's definitely dampened. Uh, you know, I still think that I don't want to go out there and get embarrassed. I think they got spread right now like 17 and a half. Uh, you know, let's let's keep it around there, boys. And that's a guy who believes in his team. Yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. Don't embarrass us too bad. Guys, I mean, it's not – Hey, It's okay to get embarrassed a little, just I not, don't, too, not bad. too bad. I don't think that there's a better team than Georgia. I think Georgia will win the national championship. Yeah. And, you know, we got a chance to go in there. and uh, They're still in the playoff either way. Even if we beat them by 30, they're still in. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Georgia's a good team. This was still a great season. I'm really, really yeah, happy with Yeah, far exceeded expectations. Absolutely. The worst thing you can have in life is hope. I'll say it. Because you hurt. You get the hurt so bad. Thing, yeah. oh, it sucks. Oh, man. I'm a pessimist. It sucks. Hope sucks. I like for it to happen when I didn't hope for it. I yeah. hate to hope for it because yeah. then even if I do, it's built to the level I got and it usually never adds up to what I wanted it to be. So I don't want to even want to know how good it could be. I just want it to happen. I want to work for it, make it happen without knowing how great it is because it never happens. It's stupid. Anyway, moving on. Okay. There will be 12 teams in the college football playoff. <laughs> Positive Thursday. I know, man. Real nice. <laughs> not this year, not next year, but the year after that, 2024. I love it. Can't get enough of it. Let's go. It's it's fun. And for people that are like, ah, we like it with four. Uh, first of all, take your Geritol. Second of all, you we don't want a 14 playoff in football in, in the NFL. You don't want a 14 playoff in baseball. This is just how it's been. So you feel like it's, we got to protect the sanctity of the bowl games. Nobody cares about bowl games Nobody. anymore. No. The it's just a do. it's just a good game. Yeah. You and know, it's, some it's, of them, it's a fun game. It's like interleague playing baseball when that started. It's like novel. They're playing conferences they never played. Two big school. But nobody cares. It's not the 70s anymore. No. So Independence like, Bowl in Shreveport, they, like 3,000 people turn out to see ex- Air Force play Ohio. Exactly. Mm. Like, come on. I'll still bet on it, though. Same, buddy. 100%. You know I mean? 100%. Same. <laughs> if there was a, a – this year, we drew this up, Penn State and Clemson would play, which would be fun, and the winner would play Georgia. Ohio State and Washington would play. Ohio State would win that. Then Ohio State and USC would play. 
Tennessee would be in it as a seven against Kansas State. That'd be a pretty good game, too. Then they play when they play Michigan. Alabama, Utah. I remember that bowl game when Utah beat them. Yep. Mm. That's a crazy one. And that, that winner play TCU. Wouldn't Alabama TCU be awesome? That would be. Yeah. That'd be fun. I just like more big games with the more teams having a, an absolute shot to do it all. And the shot is Washington and what it all know. But just for Washington to beat Ohio State and have a shot at that, that's fun. Yeah. Give some talk about more games to bet. Yeah. And I'll, also, also our, FCS has been doing it for since I can remember. Mm. You know, one double A whenever I was growing up. But like they've had a sixteen team playoff or whatever it is, twelve team. And like I love it. Like you always I love seeing the seven seed. It's like more in, people having a shot, having passion. More yeah. fan bases that have passion yeah. the better. So I love that. I do want to check in with you guys. The coaches update. We're gonna have the Kansas State head coach on next week. Who got that? Mike D. Mike D. Dang, Dang Ooh, Mike. Come on. Coming up in a minute, Coach McGuire from Texas Tech, which Kevin got. Um, the so here's the deal. The Texas football coach has said he would come on the show, but he hit us. He said after bowl season. Who's uh, that, Sark? Yeah, but if we, can, we anything after December 31st doesn't count in the game. Mm. After December 31st or after the national championship game? Oh, is that what it is, Mike? The national championship yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. Got yeah. It. Okay, so that, that's I guess how you get it before. The, okay, when's that game? Eighth, seventh, thirteenth. Oh yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Did Mike meet him at the game? No. He booked him while he was on the field. <laughs> I, <laughs> I actually, real quick. I looked for him. I didn't see him. Pass him. A How'd note. you get him? Uh, I just emailed. Beauty of the email. Come I on. sent a certain coach an email. I haven't got a response, but I emailed a coach myself to try to get him on. I just sent it to the. I went to the general website. I love it. And I just type in athletic director email. And they, I sent the coach an email. They have their emails on the website. You can yeah, find they, like an assistant AD or something. Here. Yeah. Even, mm-hmm. even, I mean, even the athletic directors, most of them will have their their email on the website. I mean, I go hard on because you kind of have to because they don't know who I am. But I, here's what here's what I wrote. Greetings to you. <laughs> Quick version. My name is Bobby Bones. Can you link me with Coach Blank? Email or phone's good. Thanks. That's all I said. And then underneath it, a couple spaces, I go long version. <laughs> My name is Bobby Bones, and then I lay on the resume. I have a radio show in over 200 cities, two current TV shows, Breaking Bobby Bones on Disney Plus and Snake in the Grass on Peacock. I have two New York Times bestsellers, Bare Bones and Fail Until You Don't. Big animal guy, drink almond milk, and have bad vision. I'm a graduate of Henderson State University, bachelor's degree in the University of Arkansas, H doctorate. I put the H in real H. small. Little H. <laughs> and a little H. It looks like a typo probably, but it is a doctor. Different font size. My interest is with blank for a Zoom interview now that the regular season over. It'll be about 30 minutes. It'll be about football, but also how to create your path to get to a spoken goal. I've done it. Coach has done it. I hope this finds you well. And heck, I hope it finds you at all. I assume that you're the guy to hit up. Now, I'm going to be in Dallas next week to sit with Jerry Jones interview him. Do a flex. Dude. And, we, and we've had Coach Beamer, Coach McGuire, and other non-sports stars on. Here's my Instagram. There is a blue check, which means I'm a wonderful, honest, caring person. Have a good week. <laughs> BB. And he, he threw the Jerry Jones flex late. Yeah. Oh, I was, yeah, I was yeah, late. Yeah. It's all about catching a fish. I'll flex on that bait all day long. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll see. I also didn't know that you were ready rooster. Henderson State? Henderson State ready, not rooster. I thought y'all were the ready roosters. We're the readies. The it's ready. a ghost. Ready. What the heck is that? What's a rooster? It's a ghost. A rooster's a cock. No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> well, like, why Why did he bring up the rooster? I don't know. I, I thought mean, they were the ready roosters. I guy's crazy over there. Because <laughs> I, was, I was at Northwestern State, and Henderson State came and played. Okay. Hey, guys, nutty. To be honest, that was a little random there, Jordan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He just yeah. loves talking about it. Okay. <laughs> Let's go over to Adam and get in. Adam Stats. Uh, uh, Adam Stats. Adam has all your stats for you. Adam stats. You guys, fun fact, I got something in common with Marvin Harrison Jr. up until last week. We had the exact same number of drops in a college football game this year. Zero. A hundred targets and zero drops. Wow. That's crazy. Amazing stat, Marvin Harrison Jr. Uh, He had the he had his first drop first quarter of the game last week. The game where Unfortunately, the the Buckeyes dropped that game, which is a big bummer for me because I had them in our in our pool. So that's unfortunate. Um, in it going to the NFL, seventy point six. That's the percentage that Steelers quarterback Kenny Pickett uh, his complete he's completing his passes at seventy point six percent against the blitz this season. That's good for best in the NFL. Not bad. Defenses are coming hard at him. He's been sacked ninth most in the NFL. Tiny hands. <laughs> Tiny hands. Mm-hmm. Um, the Steelers. They're in this clump of like four and seven teams, right? Out of out of these four and seven teams, you got Colts, Jags, Browns, Steelers, and Raiders. 
Which of those four and seven teams do you think has the best chance at sliding in one of those last playoff slots? Adam did a hand slide in like a doctor that's sliding so, up a butthole. Yeah, <laughs> sliding. Like, like, like a glove, like when I've had to get a, a pro, you know. Oh, that's interesting. Which one do we think has the best shot here? Uh, I, I think the Raiders are trending up. They're fun. They're passionate. I, I still, I think the Cowboys could be in a little trouble with the Colts. Mm. I was thinking that. I didn't want to say that, but I was thinking that because I do believe in Coach Saturday. Um, man, I just think Matt Matt Ryan. They're like an 11-point dog, too, the Colts. Yes. But they are fighting, too. I, I want to believe in the Colts, and I love that you're staying with the, the Raiders. I mean, I think it's great. You've rode with the Raiders from the beginning. I just don't think it's going to be the Raiders, dude. But if you have to pick one of those teams, it's, probably, it's probably none of them. I, I, Browns are Browns are. Hey, we're, gonna, we're about football. to see this week. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, Deshaun this Watson's is, in. This is Browns could be could be sneaky. Raiders got a lot of talent. Raiders should not be four and seven. Well, the Raiders have a brutal schedule too. Yeah, but because the division, the teams that they're playing, that's going to be a factor as well. The Colts have a terrible schedule too. I mean, but a lot of teams that are, have terrible schedules are usually bad teams. That's why their schedule is so hard because they're the bad team. Yeah, that means everybody's better than them. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's a terrible sure. schedule. Um, but just of the four teams, I like the Raiders. I like to watch the Raiders the best. The Browns are weird because I always like to root for the Browns because they're Cleveland. It's a small market team. It's a gritty team. But can you really root? For- I'm not going to root for I know, it's, 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 I know. I totally forgot that it's week 11 now. And, of course, like in Houston. Yeah. yeah. Of they're course. Pro- it's exactly how they drew it up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to go with the Raiders. I'm going to go with the Raiders. All right. Thank you, Adam. There you go. Uh, uh, Adam stats. That's it. Adam stats. He's got those stats for you. Remember, 20 Hour Whistles brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Download the DraftKings app. Use the code Bobby Sports to get in on the action now. Here's the thing. It's the last week of college football as far as before the bowl season starts. We're going <laughs> hard on this one. Yes, come on. <laughs> this is a five-team parlay. Dang, I love these. Dude. They're all money line winners. I've just picked them. Here's who's going to win all the games. Go bet them. UTSA money line. North Texas at UTSA in the conference championship game in San Antonio, Texas. USC money line over Utah. Pac-12 championship game. Georgia money line over LSU. No offense, uh, excuse me, uh, the none, guy with the beard. None taken. Gordon. <laughs> mm-hmm. TCU money line, Kansas State. Michigan money line, Purdue. Now, some of them are pretty big favorites. Georgia, Michigan, pretty big favorites there. The TCU and USC games, they're not huge favorites. It's pretty close there. Uh, UTSA, kind of in the middle. Are there any underdogs in there? Mm-mm. Okay. All favorites? Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to put a lot of money down. Well, if, you bet, if you bet 20 bucks, I was I was seeing if he was going to touch that Clemson-UNC game. Oh, I like that. No, that's that's going to be tight. I have a Clemson curse, and I'm not, I don't feel good about it. Either way. I just don't think I just don't think they have a quarterback. It's going to be. It's gonna be oh, yeah, we're in the middle of a commercial, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, cool. I'm oh, um, sorry. If you bet 20 <laughs> bucks, you'll make 80 bucks back. Uh, that's pretty good. I put in actually. 100 for 420. That's good. It's just tough to win five games. Yeah. But there, there you go. There's the bet. If you want to take 25 whistles parlay each week, uh, you can check it out in DraftKings Sportsbook. New users use the code Bobby Sports whenever you download the app. 21 up. Most eligible states. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for terms and resources. Gambling problem. 1-800-GAMBLER. In Tennessee, call or text Tennessee Redline 800-889-9789. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text hope Y four six seven three six nine. Uh, we have Lunchbox in from Sore Losers and the Bobby Bone Show because we don't know anything about soccer. So we got we have some soccer questions. First of all, what are the odds the United States beats the Netherlands? Oh, man, it's going to be tough. If we're going to beat them, I think it's going to be in a shootout. We're going to have to play for a tie and win in a shootout. What do you mean play for a tie? So only play defense? When you play for a tie, does that mean you don't stretch the offense out and create space for the other team. Right, you counterattack. You pack it in, pack it in, and hope you get That's one breakaway. Let, let me begin. begin. <laughs> yeah, so you, you play defense, you get all 11 men behind the ball, and then you hope for a breakaway at some point in the game to score your goal. What team does Pele play for? What the crap? <laughs> Pele does not he's play. Dead, he, dude. No, he's not no, dead. He's not. Oh, my Okay, goodness. then stop he, acting like you're so is he smart. Not dead? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he played in the 70s. How is he still alive? He's 82. I think he just went to the hospital, yeah. though. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So but by the time this airs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, oh, like, hey, Bobby? hey, alternate God. version. Pele just died. I'm sorry I asked that question. I know, man. Um, so, uh, yeah, but rest in peace to Pele. But he played for who, Lunchbox? Brazil. Man. 
all our Brazilian listeners out there. Yep. Rest in peace, one of the greats, Pele. Um, hey. All right, now back to the current version. So he's he's in, he's still alive. Yeah, he's still good. Cool. Uh, so what's a set? I keep hearing people talk about set pieces. Okay, that's like a free kick. Like when there's a foul, you set the ball down, and it's when the ball is stopped and you're kicking it back into play. A corner kick. Oh, like is the it? corner thing with the flag. Yeah, like when cor- they play capture the flag with the ball in the corner. No, yeah, that's no, a corner no. kick is a set piece. A free kick outside of the box is a set piece. Oh, is that where people can get set? Yeah, you and set so up they have time to set up. Uh, I don't know if that's why they call it that, but I think it's because the ball is setting there, but I don't know. Makes oh, that sense, could be Jordan. it, too. Mm, okay. So, what was, the guy's, what was the kid's name who was supposed to be a star? Freddie Adu. Yeah, what teams he play for? I don't think he plays soccer anymore. He is terrible. Does he know Pele? He probably does. He may have met Pele when he was younger. Did he play in the World Cup ever? No. He never did anything. Like how do, he, how do you he, know this guy? Who is he? He's famous like when he was 13 Dude, or something. He was, yeah, he's he went, big. He was a big really? name. Freddie Adu went... He was supposed to be the next great American soccer player. Went pro at like 15 years old, played in the MLS, and just never amounted to anything. Mm. The United States plays Netherlands. I just can't think of anything the Netherlands should beat us at, except for Netherlands trivia. That's the uh, only thing they should beat us at. Do they have great athletes, or are they just that much better at soccer? I think they have great athletes. I think every country has great athletes. But, no matter what country you are. But you don't you have, have that many people. It's all a numbers game. Correct. But I think they're really good at soccer. They have a good soccer team, and they have athletes, and they're supposed to beat us, Mm. which is sad. Yes, Eddie. Is this like the Olympics where if your mom's from the Netherlands but you're American, you can play for either one? Correct. Okay. And once you play for the national team, though, you are committed to that team. Forever? Forever. So if I I wanted to, because a lot of people know me from my Japanese heritage, if I wanted to go play for Japan— I couldn't in eight years come back and play for the United States? Correct. From my understanding, like, there was a guy, I, <laughs> I know that he wanted to play for Italy. He had Italy or U.S. a few years back, and he chose Italy, and he didn't make the team. He um, didn't make the World Cup roster. Wow. Speaking for a friend that's a sports better, do you think mm. this game's going to be— Good hypothetical here, yeah. <laughs> do you think this game's going to be within one? Aren't they all? Well, they're pretty close. Most of them. Most of them. That, that's a tricky question because if it's 1-0, if you're down one goal with 10 minutes to go, you're going to push everyone forward that's what I'm and saying. risk giving up that. I think Croatia just won by two. There's been a few like multiple multiple score yeah. wins. But what he's saying is if you move everybody to try to catch up, they have an open goal and they can score two real quick. That's yeah, yeah, goal. so you're, you're taking a chance. But okay. a better bet because a lot of first halves are ties. Yeah, they don't score a lot of goals in the first half. So and why don't somebody surprise somebody true. and do a whole goal up in the first half? Like, it's, well, well, they try <laughs> sneak attack first. So half I goal. should tell my friend maybe plus one first half, maybe plus point five first half. No, yes. Tie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Or the tie. Or the tie. or the tie first half. The draw. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What after five fouls they foul out? No, there's no fouling. You can foul out if you get a, two yellow cards, or if you get a red card. That's it. But when they call a foul, what does that even mean? It just means it's a foul. But if you come, if no, you, no, I know it. I know it means it's a foul. But what does that? But they stop play. But if they're like foul, nothing happens ever. No, no. no. If you are a continuous offender, if you foul multiple times, like you have to register. That's, that's five times you <laughs> fouled that's someone. A foul offender. Register on the, the site. They, they mm-hmm. give you a yellow you have card. To leave your light on at Halloween, or turn your light off at Halloween so kids don't come knock on. Yeah. Bones, did you know that once you get ejected from the game, uh, you can't come out? Like, so if you get a red card. Your guy's out, and you can't bring a sub in, so it's like a power play. I did know that. that I did not know that until— But for the rest of the game, right? For the rest yeah, of the rest game. Of the, game. Yeah. So the whole game, you play a man down? Yeah. yeah. And wow. so when people have yellow cards coming into it from the last match, that's very— it's Yellow card from the last match only matters for the group stage, so if you would have got two yellow cards in those three games, you would have to sit out the next match. Even the third game and the first game? Yes. That's hardcore. I thought it was only like two games back-to-back. No. That is hardcore. But if you get two yellow cards in the same game, it equals a red card and you're out of the game. You, ever, you know yellow card Ocean Avenue? Big fan. Yeah. Great That's song. a good one. Yeah, yeah it's a good song. I wish That would be a yellow card I'd like. Yeah. Ocean Avenue. That There's a place oh, on Ocean Avenue. We're going to rock. To oh, that's what you're thinking of. Ocean Electric Avenue. Avenue. Yeah. Electric oh, Avenue. that's what it is. <laughs> My bad. You ever, Completely wrong. You don't want, yeah, and that's the thing about yellow cards. You don't want to go to Ocean Avenue. No, yeah. you don't. And another thing I learned, too, was so the, the conundrum when – What's the guy's name? Polisic. Polisic. When he was out, hurt, and he was, like, grabbing his nuts, like, they can't sub him. They can't say, all right, he's out for a little bit because once they take him out, he You're can't out. come back in the game. That's tricky, man. Do you have yellow card, Mike? Oh, <laughs> yes. yes. He was ready. Yeah, we only can play a few seconds, but we can turn it down. 
Can you Yellow it? card, was this hardcore? Yeah, punk pop. Oh. Pop yeah. punk. Yeah. Uh, can you turn it up again? Oh, I just okay. want to hear the chorus. You want one of these. You just no. don't want the one when you play soccer. Oh, yeah. Mike D. Well, he, we can only do five can't. seconds at a time. Uh, no. Nah. Well, there it is. It's, it's like listening to music on a skip CD. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, God, man. Will you hold that up? Wait, lunch. Who's the... Is Argentina the favorite? No, who's, Brazil. Brazil? It's uh, Brazil and then... France. France and then probably Argentina and England. Here it is. There's a chorus. Why don't they do a chorus? Here we go. And I can dance and dance with you better. If I could leave this town and live forever. They had a fiddle in that band. Take you away. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Lunchbox. How... America, money plus three forty. How much? Let's just say hypothetically, if you had a friend that was doing pretty good over in the old betting department, how much would you put on it? Oh, thirty bucks. My standard unit of bet is a hundred. That's my one unit. Oh, well then one unit. Okay, that's your unless you want to go half a unit. I don't know if you're. Well, that's man my nickname in college. <laughs> half, half a unit. unit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you're man enough to go half a unit, like if you're willing to sacrifice to go below one unit. But, yeah, the odds are against us. Don't know if Polisic's going to play. Don't know if Josh Sargent, who's our forward up top, is going to play. Wait, aren't they both forwards? No, um, uh, Polisic plays midfield. Oh. So, Polisic, does he start in the Premier League? Sometimes. Not so he's not even good enough to start in the Premier League, and he's our star. He's, our but he's so good, oh. and he's Captain America. <laughs> but Dude, he doesn't that's even a good start. Point. He doesn't even start. He starts sometimes. Dude, Premier but, League's so there's there. But we act like we got lucky. We have one of the best players yeah, in the whole tournament. Uh-huh. And he, no, no, we do. And I, the guy's so I good. didn't know that. The guy's like the reserve bookkeeper. He's right though. If he's so good, why does he not start for the Premier League? I mean, it's just a different Because there are better players than him. There are better players, and also scheme. They play a different scheme of the, on that team. You know, it just... Oh, it's where they scheme using the better players. <laughs> okay. Who's yeah. he? All right. It's a good scheme. Who's he with in the Premier League? Chelsea. Chelsea. He's like the sixth man of the year. Like Ron Artest. Is he the Ron Artest? Yeah, there you go. Of- he's the he's James Harden when he was in OKC. Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot of potential oh, there. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Dang, I'm surprised he's not like a star over there. there. No, he's not a star over Is there. Is he our best player? Yes. Yeah. Wow, it's my yeah. good boys. I don't know. I feel good for me. I'm I'm going. I'm hammering money line. Why not? It's America. Let's go. It's America. Why not? I like it's that. Money. Money. We're in America. Why not? It's money. Hey, America over money, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. Come on, baby. America over money. <laughs> These guys hey. don't run. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> uh, Mike, we hit all our spots. We are good. Okay, let's do our final thought in uh, lunchbox. You, you should. By the way, check out the sore losers. Much watch you can do one of these two. Um, it's literally nothing. It's just how we end the show. Final thought regarding the weekend ahead in sports. Kelvin. Kick off Kelvin. <laughs> <laughs> Kick off Kelvin. I'm just excited over the next oh. month, man. We got a great time of year right now. We got the holidays, bowl season. You got basketball, football. It's getting down to the stretch of the NFL. And I'm just excited for what this next month. A little bit of soccer. Hopefully we can stay in it, right? It's going to be fun. Adam DeGeneres. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Dude, that's there's no good. way to come back from that. I said, his, I said Adam's hair looks like Ellen from the 90s. There's, there's no way to come back from that. That's why I said Adam DeGeneres. <laughs> oh, yeah. do, y- do y'all know how razor thin the margin is in college football between being a very meh team to a really solid team? Yes. I tell you, the Arkansas Razorbacks have, have been that team this year, and it's been maddening. We are nine points away from being a 10-2 and two football team. Oh, no, and we he's that guy. I'm oh, trying to be that guy. It's, 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 you can just, always do that argument but, for teams that no, you have no, no, no personal no, no, interest no, no. in. No, that's not, that's not me. Like This is not me like like fabricating some sort of hope for my team, although it is hope for next year. It's the thing that makes us crazy and is also uh, the thing that I love about college football. I didn't do that, guys. I want to do that. I say that to myself alone at night. <laughs> mm. Only nine points. Uh, it's awful. It's like it's awful. complaining about the refs. I do that too, but I try not to do it publicly out There's loud a, on Twitter. No, no, no. You know, that's that, know. Was, that, that was, was more a there, state. Of, a that stretch. was a more of a, a state of why I love college football and the thing that drives you crazy as a fan. Official you know. Jordan Davis, dude, who I'm, takes over a day sometimes to reply to a text. Wow. Yeah. Why? Once he won no, the CMA. Once he won the CMA. Ooh. Game whoa, change. Whoa, whoa, can, whoa, Bobby. I, oh, let oh, me just look. Go ahead and say, say your piece there, buddy. Big time. Dude, I always get back to you. 
Go ahead, George. Yeah, exactly. Always get back to me. Go ahead. Go ahead, big big time. Talk about your CMA or whatever you're going to say. No. <laughs> no. Did you bring was, your CMA? Yeah, it's sitting right next to <laughs> you. I was going to say that I'm excited for Mike White. I'm, I never think I would be pumped to see a Jets-Vikings game. But Let's go. I want to see that guy do well. Like, I, So what do you, I see you looking at your phone. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I, I use that emoji, fa- the fax machine emoji, and I'll send it to somebody when I'm like, this is fax. <laughs> And I'm facts. about to give him facts right now. Come on. I text Jordan a little something and said, hey, we won't say what it is, but like, you want to do this? Hang out to Jordan and our friends. I text it to him, 12 p.m., lunchtime. Do you want to know when I heard back from Jordan? Yeah, please. The following day at 9 a.m. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, stutter it up, buddy. I, I believe that I was traveling internationally. Mm-hmm. Really? The I was phone, in Canada. Phone uh, wasn't on? This is phone what he, works, phone works. This yes, is what he says is. here. Hey, man. The one thing I'm not doing is traveling internationally. Sorry for the oh, delay. Oh, wow. Yeah. He said that? <laughs> uh-huh. That's how he let it. So, Wait, did I at least say sorry for the delay? That would have been the right hey, thing to man, say, so let's see. I'm in Oakland. Uh, hey, thanks. Oh, that okay. was Hold one, on. Yeah, that let's was, stay in. No, you didn't. That was when I was I was on a, I was yeah, on hey, a honey trip. Yeah, whatever you say, buddy. The phones don't work out there uh-huh. in the woods? Not, too many trees around. Kills signals. Too, too many trees, yeah. Wow, too, wow, too many wow. leaves. Wow. Yeah. Um, Eddie? Yeah, man, I'm a little bummed. Uh, you know, I'm the head coach of my son's nine-year-old basketball team. Goal kickoff Kelvin here is the assistant. I'm going to be out of town, so I'm not going to be able to head coach this this game on mm. Saturday. But kickoff Kelvin. Click is, off Clevin. Clevin <laughs> is taking my place, so um, hopefully he learned from the best and he's <laughs> going to be my best sub, man. I mean, we need a win. We're 1-0 right now, Jordan. We're looking for undefeated season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So a lot of pressure on There's Kelvin. A lot of pressure. De- debut, uh, debut coaching gig here. I'm pretty sure the weekend. kids are going to ask for me after this week, every week. Hey, Coach Eddie, he can just keep on the road. You stay back. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go. I'm looking forward to the TCU Kansas State game. I think that's too similar. Even the colors are the same. Oh yeah. And for a colorblind guy, like it's tough. I'm looking forward to the game, but I'm also yeah. I know that I'm going to be confused unless their pants are completely different colors. <laughs> I just don't it's, like Bobby's love for TCU. Adam, it's killing me. Right I don't now. have love. I never had love until like this week. I just, but you can't you cannot let them in even if they you can't keep them out even if they lose because again you can do that to USC you can't do it to TCU though because they haven't lost a freaking game in a Power Five conference you can't punish them for being undefeated and going into a conference championship game. I don't care what you say they're undefeated in a Power Five if we're gonna hold that as a standard it's got to be. Unless it's Clemson and they can hear that? kick Jordan? rocks. You don't care what you say, man. I, I, that's that's really what I took away from it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to call this the colorblind game. So Purple. If, if you're colorblind, it's tough because those colors are the same to me. But I'm looking forward to watching those two teams play and TCU to win. And don't forget, TCU money line. And specifically, they're like, do not do oh, Christmas yeah. presents. Oh, yeah. Bleep that out. <laughs> Bleep that part out, but just leave Eddie saying about Christmas presents. Lunchbox. Listen, I, there's a lot of sports going on this weekend, but there's only one game that matters, and it's at 9 a.m. Central tomorrow morning when USA takes on the Netherlands. It's soccer all the time. USA, USA, Pulisic, get that pelvic right. Get out there and play, please. Come on, USA. And this is how you know he does this a lot. We're taping this on Thursday late he afternoon, and he's like, tomorrow. And even I was confused. I was like, Friday? No, he's good. But that's a pro. And you want to hear other he pro- gets it. pronists? Sore losers. Yeah, that's proneness right yeah. there. Proneness completely. Uh, that's it. Jordan Davis, thank you, buddy. Thank you all for having me. See uh, you next week. Official Jordan Davis. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. Uh, official Jordan Davis, Adam, Mike D. Uh, next, next, Not this weekend, but next weekend we go to Dallas to talk to Jerry Jones. Oh, Woo! my That'd goodness. Cool. And until then, we will see you guys. I'll, and, and I'll blow us and we'll get out of here. All right, here we go. What? Uh, no, I'll blow, what? Uh, blow. I like that. All right, there it is. See you guys.